Mia Alice is a teenager who one day awakens in a strange spaceship. She is attacked by some kind of robot but is saved by Roll Kron who uses his psychic abilities to destroy the assailant. As they introduce themselves to each other, the two teenagers realize that the only thing they remember are their names. The sinister voice of Dr. Tarzan appears and announces that the planetoid they are currently on will explode in five minutes. They are apparently being tested, and they must reach a hangar where they will find the Dan Fighters. Dr. Tarzan identifies himself as their creator. Running down the corridor, they encounter Lamba Nam, another Esper. And at the entrance of the hangar they are faced with another robot that is swiftly destroyed by Pi Thunder, the last of the 14 pilots. As they are about to board the Dan Fighters, they are attacked once more. This time Mia is the one to defeat them, showing her formidable psychic powers. After successfully passing the test, the four teens meet with Dr. Tarzan and his henchmen. He explains that he created them to be the most powerful espers in the world. Turns out, he intends on selling them and the Dan Fighters to the bunker pirate, Galamos. They are his merchandise. However, Mia is struck with a memory of a planet called Earth and in her room she later questions the veracity of Tarzan's story. Then, she is interrupted by Tarzan's cyborg assistant Gil Berg, who has come to threaten Mia. He actually wants to join the bunker pirates in order to go on a destructive rampage across the universe. He clearly has a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Mia offers to trade places with him, but he responds by saying that she should tell the professor that her memories have returned, that way she will have to undergo another memory purge and Gil will be sent to the pirates instead. Sounds like a convoluted plan, surely he could just ask to join the pirates? Well, whatever. Mia refuses anyway and activates her powers to push Gil away. The other three arrive and explain that they all connected telepathically and they also saw her vision of Earth. They are convinced that they aren't cyborgs and decide to escape in the Dan Fighters. Two of Tarzan's henchmen, Dira and Yoldo, go after them. Meanwhile, Tarzan and Gil arrive at the Bunker Pirate spaceship to announce the bad news. It's a creepy place lined with the bodies of those defeated by the Bunker. After a bunch of floating heads tease the professor, Captain Galamos makes his appearance. He and the other pirates aren't too happy about the fact that their espers have escaped, but Gil offers to track them down and get revenge. He even pulls his eye out to demonstrate his loyalty. A bit much, but Galamos appreciates the gesture and gives him a battleship. He heads to Earth in order to intercept the espers. In the meantime, the four psychics are battling Dira and Yoldo on Earth. They remember that they can combine their fighters to form the Dangayo, but due to their inexperience they are unable to do so and are subsequently shot down. While fighting a transformed Yoldo, Pi has a vision of her own. She sees the bunker in Galamos. Awakening from the memory, she kills Yoldo, which makes Dira very angry. However, she also bites the dust soon enough. But Mia rescues her before her ship explodes, and in response to this kindness Dira explains their backstory. She confirms that they were not created by Dr. Tarzan. They all had great potential to be warriors and so the professor simply erased their memories and enhanced their abilities. Before she is able to tell them where they are from, Dira dies. Having remembered her origins, Pi takes the injured role and flies off to the bunker, where she meets with Galamos, who is actually her father. Her real name is Barius. Galamos isn't sure if he can trust her seeing as she ran away. In order to prove her loyalty, he asks Pi to kill Roll. Pi can't bring herself to do it and has a change of heart. Meanwhile, Mia and Lamba are able to locate them and come to their rescue. With the help of Professor Tarzan, they manage to escape together and head to Tokyo where Gil is wreaking havoc. This time, they are able to merge into Dangayo. However, the mech can only be piloted from Roll's cockpit, so he has to make the decisions. After an arduous battle, Dangayo emerges victorious. Gil prefers to blow himself up rather than be saved by the teens. Roll, Pi and Lamba bid their farewells to Mia now that she has found her homeworld. However, seeing as she can't really remember anything and the Dangayo needs all of them together, she decides to leave with them. They are now a team. Back at the bunker, the pirate Gutila has returned from an expedition and is showing the others an Azale crystal from planet Hecatom that will, according to him, be able to power the fleet for years. He has also supposedly found the perfect soldiers to defeat the Dangayo. One of the other pirates is a bit annoyed because he has vowed to beat the Dangayo himself. Gutila continues his presentation nonetheless. He indicates that one of them is an old acquaintance of the Dangayo team. Meanwhile, a giant stingray-like creature flying through space locates the Dangayo 4 on Earth and heads down to find them. The espers are currently training aboard Tarzan's ship above a snowy landscape. Mia is the only one who remains reluctant, still unsure of her abilities. 
However, in the end she does succeed in destroying the targets, but she's not good at controlling the power of her attacks. The teens butt heads with Tarzan again because he still seems intent on selling them at some point. Gotta give him credit for his tenacity and business mindset. Lamba asks him when he's going to take them to her and Roll's homeworlds. Pi and Roll interrupt her rant to report that three suspicious objects have entered the atmosphere. They assume it's the bunker. The gang heads out and finds a crashed jet. At first they think the crew is probably dead but they are soon attacked by Gutila's assailants. They don't respond well to Mia's pacifist plea. Upon destroying the female assassin's glasses, Lamba suddenly recognizes her as Shazaria. The three of them flee after Roll barges in. Pai asks Lamba what's the matter with her. She responds saying that she thinks she got her memory back. Back on the ship, Tarzan explains that Lamba is the daughter of the royal family of Planet Lilies. Apparently Lilies was a prosperous planet similar to Earth. However, one day the bunker arrived on Lilies. Lamba's mother cut her hair in order to disguise her and she subsequently escaped the planet. But her father remained on Lilies to defend his people. Shazaria was a servant who stayed by Lamba's side until the very end. She asks the professor what happened to her planet after she left. He doesn't really answer the question, although his expression seems to convey that things didn't go too well. Lamba posits that Shazaria's memories must have been wiped like her own. However, because of her mind-reading abilities, Mia knows that Shazaria did in fact recognize Lamba when she saw her, meaning that she hasn't been brainwashed. Mia doesn't tell Lamba though. Lamba runs off into a snowstorm where she is immediately captured by the enemy. They take her to a cave where she tells Shazaria that she will get her out of here. They laugh at her and Shazaria calls Lamba her most hated enemy. Later, the other soldier explains to Lamba that after she escaped, her father surrendered Lilies to the bunker. The planet was subsequently plundered and destroyed. Shazaria was among the only survivors and therefore holds a grudge against the royal family. Shazaria and the others then set up a ploy. She transmits a message to the Dangayo team telling them that she has rescued Lamba and is being pursued by the other soldiers. She requests that they deactivate their barrier and allow her to land. While Tarzan recognizes it as a trick, the teens convince him to lower the barrier nonetheless. They are then immediately attacked by the enemy fighters, but Pai was prepared and she shoots a rocket launcher at the jet carrying Lamba and Mia catches her as she falls. Easy. The enemies then merge into a mech and so the Dangayo team responds in kind. An intense battle ensues, in which Shazaria explains that she joined the bunker in order to eradicate the royal bloodline and even the score. Not sure the logic really holds up, but she's clearly upset so we won't hold it against her. In the end, the Dangayo destroys the enemy mech and Lamba cries, mourning the loss of her family, her planet, and her servant. Meanwhile, back at the bunker, that other pirate dude from earlier says that he won't fail like Gutila did, revealing his own super soldier, a revived Gil Berg. Meanwhile, the bunker has invaded another planet, Leticia. A resistance has formed to fight back, but they are no match. The Dangayo arrives just in time to save the resistance fighters. Turns out, Leticia is actually Roll's home planet. The pirate piloting the enemy mech seems to recognize him, and tells him that he will be sent to hell once again, hinting at a previous battle between the two of them. Roll seems disturbed and because of his inaction, the Dangayo is knocked down by the one-legged mech. Fortunately, he doesn't seem interested in finishing them off and just flies away. This pirates burst and flash meet with Master Dartala and declare that the first phase of their plan was a success and Roll reacted as anticipated. Dartala then says that they should proceed with Gilberg's orders. Flash comments that he doesn't like the fact that Gil is only interested in getting revenge on the Dangayo. Dartala says it's fine as long as the plan works, and this is the entire reason why they regenerated him. Roll reunites with the resistance fighters on Leticia, but most of them aren't too happy to see him. A flashback reveals that since Roll vanished, the resistance lost morale and couldn't defeat the bunker. Kilkel thinks he abandoned them and proceeds to beat Roll up. However, the masked mercenary skeleton says that he will team up with Roll and infiltrate the bunker's fortress. As they infiltrate the base, Skeleton explains that the bunker captures soldiers and uses them as parts for a biomechanical computer that feeds on human life energy. Back on Tarzan's ship, the professor explains to the three girls that Roll was actually murdered on Leticia. Apparently he was betrayed by other members of the resistance who were tired of fighting the bunker. Heading to the part of the ship where Skeleton told Roll he would find the human cells, he instead finds his two comrades dead. He is then approached by Burst and Flash, the two traitors who originally killed him. Turns out, Skeleton is actually Gilberg and this whole thing was a trap. 
Gil uses role as bait to lure in Mia. Another convoluted plan from Gil. He contacts their ship and tells Mia to come to the bunker's floating fortress. If she doesn't, he will turn Roll into one of the bunker's psychic soldiers. She obeys and meets with Gil. Of course, he doesn't release Roll, preferring instead to just electrocute Mia repeatedly. At first, Roll can't bring himself to help her because he is paralyzed by fear due to his memories of being murdered by his comrades. However, he eventually overcomes his fear and breaks free. He saves Mia and the two regroup with the others. They transform into Dangayo and manage to defeat Burst and Flash, also destroying Dartala and the bunker base in the process. Unfortunately, Gil follows them to outer space and attacks them. Already weakened from the previous battle, the Dangayo team barely manages to destroy Gil's mech by combining their powers for one final psychic wave. However, Dr. Tarzan must sacrifice himself in order to teleport the Dangayo away. Gil actually survives the attack and is promoted as one of Captain Gallimo's generals, getting exactly what he wanted. Meanwhile, the four pilots drift through space, unconscious. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next retro recap.